You like them, like the new lights? Like, I can make them flicker too. Hold on. It's a party back there, man. Yeah. So let's get down to business. Look, I always get tongue tied whenever I'm doing like talking head pieces. What I want to talk to you guys about is something that happens once a year, every single year. And I'm talking about going back to school. I remember this, but I remember, but I remember specifically growing up, like anticipating the first day of school. And, but really only thinking about like the first like week, <laughs> honestly. And that was probably one of the biggest mistakes that I've ever made of my like school career. I didn't start the year intentionally with the end goal of the year. Like I, I didn't set a goal for what I wanted. It really just kind of like steered my whole entire like year, like up and down, tipsy turby, good grade here, bad grade, good grade, bad grade. I set one goal in high school. That was probably like one of the low ballest, lowest ball goals that I've ever made in my entire life. And that was to make straight A one time before I graduated from high school. And I made it, I made it the last quarter of the school year. I, I think about that from time to time and I ask myself like, what if I had said that every quarter of my high school career, I'm gonna make straight A's this, this block. I'm gonna make straight A's this block. I'm gonna make straight A's this block. And what if I had thought about other goals completely? I'm coming to you, small person or college person that's like, like they're getting ready to go back to school. Go through the year intentionally, guys. But when you go there and you set a goal, like you, you have a direction to go in. High school freshmen, like if you're listening to this or watching this video, go to your school and make a mark on that school. Live your life, your school life, intentionally for what you want your senior year to look like. Do you want to be well known? Do you want to be the person that's known for being very well um, ingrained in school spirit? If you want to be that person that is always known for knowing what they're talking about whenever it comes to the school, if you want to be that person that's uh, great at all the sports, and grade in the classroom too. Start the year out like you want your senior year to end. Sophomores, sit back and reevaluate how your freshman year went and then move forward from there. Your goal is to correct everything that you did wrong. Well, not necessarily correct, but to actually reevaluate how freshman year was and do some of those things that you felt like you could have done better your freshman year, do them better this year and set a goal for senior year and start moving toward that goal your senior year juniors reflect on freshman year and sophomore year see how far you've come now i need you to start to prepare for life senior year is right around the corner you need to start to prepare for what's going to come after senior year which is college vocational school you want to start to take your life serious now i'm not saying that you should go buy nothing but college shirts or start looking at applying for like jobs but if you plan on working in the workforce then you need to start looking at what's required in college for you to get that dream job that you want to get you need to start looking at internships you need to start looking at uh, scholarships that you want to apply for next year. If you haven't already started taking the ACT or SAT, whatever, whatever like test that you have to take to actually get into school, then you need to start taking that test now, immediately. Seniors, the day has come. The time for reflecting on the things of the past are like gone now. I'm sorry, but, like your senior year is the year that I would actually tell you to take care of your business, but to enjoy. I will tell you to take your time and bask in the glory of making it to this year. That's what I'll tell you. 
specifically because you've already done the job of getting to this point and now you're getting ready to cross that stage with your cap and gown on grab your diploma if they actually give it to you that day take care of your business definitely uh continue to move forward on getting to the next reflect enjoy and prepare all at the same time these are things that you'll have to do as an adult like after college anyway so you have to learn how to balance enjoying your life and preparing for what's next college students i think the biggest lesson that i learned from college is the network of people that i care about that i'm still connected to to this day now when you get there, I don't want you to go on campus and start hugging people and pretending that you care about these people because like that's just fake and phony. Like don't do that. Bind yourself to people that will never forget you because you love that person as if, as if they were your mom, your dad, your uncle, your sister, your brother, cousin, aunt, uncle. They are family to you. You need to be building those types of relationships I think we're gonna go look for microphones now because I have a pretty big, a pretty, pretty, pretty big interview coming up Thursday, and I need microphones that I can't not like depend on. Like I need these microphones to work. So the wife and I are gonna go pick up mics. Yeah. Vlog is up. Waiting on chastity now. Like I got a very, 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 very important interview coming up Thursday. Shout out to DJ ASAP for that and i need to make sure that the audio is on point like on point on point like beyond on point so we're going to search for some microphones but before we do that we need coffee let the weird looks begin vlogging actually makes me wish i had more hands wish i had more hands more thumbs down I feel like it's so noisy everywhere we go. I feel like it's so noisy everywhere we go. Oh. Now we're at Micro Center. Nice hat. Thanks. My hat. No, this is my hat and you stole it and then you lost it. And that was mine again. I didn't lose it. It was on the couch. And I didn't steal it. It was still my, in my, it's my head. You had like I stole it and put it in the other car so you wouldn't know where it was. You've done stuff like that before. I have done stuff like that before. That was a fail. Don't have anything in Micro here. Center gets two thumbs down today. I'm pretty sure that they couldn't hear you. Your voice is so small. My voice is not small. I have a very big voice actually. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We'll see how that comes out, but how do we leave? Um, through the doors, but I think we have the. I'm walking out of the inner. Yep. I'm walking out the way I came in. Because they want you to buy something that was not even B-roll worthy. So upsetting. So, Micro Center was a bus, so we decided to come to the mall. He's taking me shopping. I didn't say anything about taking you shopping. Why do you go to the mall? So you can shop, yeah. not me. So he can shop for you. Candles 35 bucks. This little candle's burn time is 30 hours. It smells amazing. Sandalwood. No, it's not. It smells like it. Lavender. Oh. Still Lavender is common. Still smells like sandalwood. I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you. Always pay me. Do you love me? Are you riding? Why is she making me buy clothes? You wear a 32. I wear a 32. 32. 
I can't remember the last time I wore slacks. I don't I don't have a point in wearing slacks though. Where what am I gonna wear slacks to? Men, dress for your ladies. So we literally just cashed out at H and M. Literally just cashed out. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm running over people. Just cashed out. Here's my bag, and we're walking past the display. And I told Chaxie, I said, you hadn't looked in the whole entire store before we walk out. She was like, there's nothing in here. And we walked past the displays and she's like, oh my God, let's go back. I just saw the cutest dress. And I feel like I need it in my life, but I can't find it. Gotta make some choices. What do I do? Running out of options, cause I've been going off. And they don't want to stop in a week. And they, I see that you've been learning. And when I took the shop, you spend it like you earned it. And when you popped off on your ex, he deserved it. I thought you wouldn't want So now we're shopping for shoes. She's already sent two pair of shoes back. I don't think we're gonna get shoes. What? And yes, I did bend her foot all around. I buy you champagne, but you love some mini. From the block like you Jenny. I know you special girl, cause I know too many. Keisha, do you love me? Are you riding? 